if I remember correctly, Brother Harry would know, I think they write me a check for $200 every two weeks. And then what we need, we use. What we have left over, we give back. But, you see, I don't own that car out there. The way ministry supplies it, if I have a need, I use it. This is how the body was to be set up. That's why I can travel fast. I can travel far because I'm traveling light. I don't have to spend all my days figuring out what I'm going to do with this or what I'm going to do with that. I perhaps have done more work in my lifetime than other four or five living men any time in history. Still capable of doing more work than any 18-year-olds. I think you've got to be 35 or 40 until you really have stamina. Why, these little 18-year-olds peter out so fast? <laughs> right, sure. <laughs> I got them in the core, you know. Take us old timers to wear them out. See? Like when Mrs. Werwill goes shopping with our daughters. They come home dragging and Mrs. Werwill's just getting her second breath. <laughs> <laughs> and they say, oh, Mother walked the legs off of them. You never hear Mother complaining. She's still out working something else. That's why I believe this sixth verse in here sets like a diamond. For this cause pay ye tribute also abundantly share, for they are God's what? Attending half of the time. They're supposed to eat, sleep, and drink the body of believers. If you really love God and love his word and he has really called you, that's what you've got to be free to do. And it's so simple. I was thinking today of well, when Howard and I talked, the amount of things that we've had to do, just unbelievable. But we do it because that's all we got to do. So we just are capable of meeting that need at the time. We took care of our people with the hurricane coming up. It's all over with. I mean, it's flipped down. Went in the great state of Texas finally, and Texan people warmed it up and blew it out. And I guess I had to call someone because the father of one of our girls died today. These things I just have to take in stride. But I'm able to do it because that's my ministry. That's my life. I have to be available and am available to my people 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They serve continually upon this very thing. Therefore, verse 7, render therefore to all their dues, to all render therefore to the, the men of God, the apostles, prophets, evangelists, teachers, and pastors, all their dues. Tribute to whom tribute is due. This is not talking about the IRS. <laughs> they like for us to believe it, but that's about as unchristian as anything has ever been. And the only reason we stand for it is because we're a nation of sheep and haven't got any guts, that's why. And just one person standing would never solve it because they just put him in jail and execute him. A hundred can't do it either. But when the common people of America, if they had a leader who could solidify and move it, you could just stop it all. They learned it from the church, the every member canvas. That's how they got it. And they're operating entirely outside of the jurisdiction of the Constitution of the United States. And we're well quote. I don't care whether you believe it or whether you don't believe it. But do you know something? There isn't a man in here that I basically, outside of maybe a few of our people around the nation, who aren't paying the government more than they ever share with God's work. But the reason you don't complain about it is because they take it away from you before you ever get it. If I did that, you'd all leave the way ministry. And you'd say, I'm a lousy crook. Well, by golly, why don't you tell that to your government? Why tell me? Because you haven't got any guts. 
The American people are just being hoodwinked and dogged down. Why, you all know, if I did that thing in the way ministry took 30%, as high as 80% out of some people's salary before you ever got to see it, you would call me the biggest crook in the world and the way ministry have the blackest name you could give it. <laughs> I like you, but boy, when are people going to come to the Word? Put God first. More people are afraid of the IRS than they are of God Almighty. And the IRS didn't create the heavens and the earth. They took everything out of it they can get. <laughs> it is God, the one we serve, and that's the man I'm working for. And it is that, this ministry that has grown up around that dedication and that commitment. Where to me, the word of God is the will of God. It means what it says, says what it means. And I work for God. He is my employer, in a quote. When he says jump, I don't ask how high, I just jump. When he puts something in my soul, honey, I'll tell you, whether you like it or whether you don't like it, I'll still tell you, but I'll tell it to you with the love of God and the renewed mind and manifestation goes for you too. <laughs>